the photo album functionality in the uh, X10 Mini Pro is easy to use. And it's easy to use because it has the same characteristics as all the other things that I've commented on this phone. It has few functionalities, but they're easy to access and easy to understand. The user finds the uh, album here, under Album. It opens, and it displays a bunch of pictures that I've taken. I can scroll the pictures like this. And I did comment earlier on that this experience of a moving uh, a banner of pictures sort of made me seasick, but, but that's a personal opinion. One of the nice things about this application is that Sony Ericsson has figured out which images or which content are most important for the user. And in many cases this will be the newest. So here you can see a picture from February and the rest of them are from January here. And when I scroll I can see that some of them here, this is where December starts, November starts somewhere down here. Ah, August. So, you know. So they're sorted by the newest and most relevant information first. And then there's actually only uh, very few things you can do with this. You can press the picture, it'll open, and then you can perform three actions on it. You can email it up here. And this icon is intuitive and easy to understand. A letter is universal for some kind of message, or if not universal, uh, then at least something everybody has seen in other phones. You can delete it from over here, where you get this uh, confirmation if you want to delete or if you want to cancel it. Thanks for that, so I don't do it by mistake. Or then you can put it somehow as a portrait. If you're unsure what this means, press it and you'll figure out that it's use it as contact picture or wallpaper. This icon is not as perfect as the other two, but still it makes a lot of sense. Um, if you end the list here, you can actually only do one thing, and that is to delete several pictures. There's a usability flaw here, in, in my opinion. If I select a bunch of pictures, first off, it, it uh, changes the direction of, of the, the, uh, the images. And then if I, if I select a few, and I'll be very careful here, um, let's say these two, let's just say these two, and then press delete here, they're just deleted. When I was trying this out before, I accidentally deleted three pictures of my newborn son, which of course is highly annoying. I'm not sure why I don't get the same confirmation note as when I delete one picture. So overall you can do very little in the album, but the things you do are easy to understand. So great usability, but of course some would say, well, I need more uh, functionality. I want to be able to do this or that with my image, or this or that with more than one image. But remember, what I'm reviewing is how each feature is implemented. It's not what I would like to have or what I've seen somewhere else. If I only commented on what I would like, then of course this phone should work with telepathy or something like that. So another feature that's easy to use is the alarm. The alarm is right here on the first screen. Of course, since I use this every morning, I am very fond of the fact that the alarm is easily accessible. And when I press it, I have few options. I can see this, that this alarm here set to 7 o'clock in the morning, it's not active because there's a big fat line over the alarm clock. If I switch it on over here, I can see that it's now active. The text is lighter and there's no big fat line. Of course, I can switch it off again. If I want to add a new one, I simply press Add New on this big button with the letters which are easy to read. I select one of these. Press 25 and it's saved. I press whatever here. Let's say 18. And then when I'm done, I simply press done. But let me just show you that there are some, some other things down here which are, well, 
they're not highly relevant for me and therefore it doesn't do any harm to the usability of this application or the degree of usability of this application that they're let's say below the fold of the screen or that you can't see them on the first screen because you know if it should be repeated well it could be but maybe not and the alarm signal well it's just an alarm very few users will find it necessary to be uh, awakened by this special tune even though it's a nice feature it doesn't necessarily have to be on on the first screen if you have the phone in this open mode when I'm done I press done and I have it here I can go back again and then if you can see there's a tiny little oops there's a tiny little clock up here telling me that my alarm is active so not much to do not much to learn not much to understand and the things that are present are easy to understand easy to use and intuitive